I'm so excited for all of the, everything that's coming out of the kitchen right now, Dave. Well, we are here now with David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter, and uh, it is Elvis Presley's birthday, his 81st birthday. David, thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here. So, king of rock and roll, uh, let's talk a little about Elvis Presley's great political adventure in 1970. Well, in December of 1970, Elvis was in the proverbial doghouse. He had gone out Christmas shopping, and the colonel, his wife, and father were angry at him because he bought 30 handguns <laughs> and a bunch of Mercedes for people. He took off to California, came back a couple of days later, was on the plane with George Murphy, who was a senator from California. He starts talking about these, Murphy starts talking about long-haired hippie people who were in music and that Elvis was a great musician and that why can't people, more people be like Elvis? Well, Elvis decides that he's gonna write a letter to President Nixon, shows up at the White House, the uh, appointment secretary, Eagle Crow, was like astounded that Elvis Presley was there. Nixon brought him in. Seriously, I guess when you're Elvis, you can just make these things happen. Did Elvis uh, ever have a political leaning in his career? Not really, but toward 1968, when he had his um, when he had his reboot, if you will, he had two socially conscious hits in the ghetto and also uh, If I Could Dream. So I think maybe that might have been in the back of his head. That would make sense. Well, okay, so his issue was ironically enough drug abuse, which Elvis later had issues with, and what proposal did he make to the, pre the president? He wanted to be a drug enforcement undercover agent. Seriously? And Yeah, and Nixon basically thought, okay, we'll make him a undercover drug enforcement agent, agent, and they had to find a badge, but they did that. They had a photo opportunity, and Nixon, who basically felt that he could get the youth vote with Elvis, decided that they were going to promote this big time. So Elvis finally got his badge and he gave President Nixon his letter of concern. What else did the king want from the president? Well, every time you go and meet a president or somebody of great stature in the White House, they always have a little drawer where they give you something. Okay. And so Nixon opened up this drawer to, uh, to give him a, mem a memento and he said, pick whatever you want. And the story goes is that Elvis basically like cleaned out the drawer. He just cleaned it. He just like, took the whole drive. And Nixon said, well, okay, take whatever you want. What an interesting story, especially on the birthday of Elvis. But I understand that President Nixon's birthday was the day after the night. Right. What would, uh, this would make a great movie, I think. It would make a good movie. As a matter of fact, there was a movie in 1997. And there's also a movie right now that I think may be released in 2016 with Kevin Spacey and um, Colin Hanks. And it was when Elvis met Nixon. All right. David Yonkai, I have to say, before we go, your tie. I'm so intrigued. There are no Elvis ties. This is a uh, Grateful Dead tie. And to President Nixon and Elvis, uh, take that. Hey, it's perfect. It's <laughs> right. a tie for every occasion. David Yonkai, thank you so much. Where can we find you online? Uh, LulacPoliticalLetter.blogspot.com. All right, David Yonkai of the LULAC Political Letter, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.